uh, iBank here in Bristol was set up in the uh, mid-1980s and uh, it arose because there were t already two iBanks in the UK. Uh, they really only served the patients in those particular hospitals. So if a patient, for example, in Bristol needed a corneal transplant, it had to be done as an emergency out-of-hours procedure. So the whole point about setting up this particular service was to make corneas available to any patient in the country when they needed it. So the operations could be planned and planned well in advance. When the iBank was starting up, we didn't have any funding from the, um, from the NHS at all. And the National Eye Research Centre provided a lot of money for the equipment that we needed to set up the service. And over the years since we've been running, since the uh, mid-1980s, uh, when we have had equipment needs, then National Eye Research Centre has, um, has stepped in and supported that. But the National Eye Research Centre has also funded important research that we carry out on the actual outcome of corneal transplants. So we're not just here to supply the corneas, we also need to know how well they're doing in patients. Um, corneal transplants can reject, just like organ transplants, but less is known about that rejection process or how to try and avoid it. And so National Eye Research Centre has been funding a project that we've, we've been running for quite a few years now, uh, where we've, we're gathering data on over, well over a thousand patients and following those patients for each of them for five years uh, to monitor the, the, if they do reject and then if they do reject we can go back and on the data that we've got we can understand more about which patients are more likely to reject and whether there are certain uh, treatments that we can provide that will reduce the risk of rejection. The numbers of transplants just here in Bristol are about 120, 150 a year. But the Bristol Eye Bank, along with the Manchester Eye Bank, between us we supply corneas for 90% of the corneal transplants uh, in the UK. And that's currently running about 3,500 a year. So Bristol, we're probably supplying somewhere over 1,500 or so corneas a year for patients throughout the UK. The cornea is the clear part at the front of the eye. It, it lets light into the eye and focuses images onto the back of the eye on the retina. And that's why we can see. Unfortunately, disease or injury can cause the cornea, which is normally absolutely transparent, it can cause it to become cloudy. And of course, that has a, a very um, severe impact on your ability to see and can cause blindness. The eye bank here, again, because of the support of the National Eye Research Centre, has uh, a, a, an international reputation. Um, and we present data from here at major international meetings, not just in the States, but Australia, Japan, um, many European countries as well. Um, as with a lot of medical or transplant research, the aim is to avoid having to do these transplants in the first place. So without the backing, without the funding to carry out research, we will still be carrying on doing corneal transplants for year after year until we can understand the diseases of the cornea more. If we do have to do transplants, how do we actually give the best chance of survival for that graft? That project has been going on since 1999, and that's where it is really difficult to get major long-term funding from the big uh, medical research uh, funding uh, bodies. And that's where National Eye Research Centre has been absolutely essential to providing that long-term uh, funding and support so we can carry on such long-term studies. A lot of studies run for maybe two years, three years. Well, here we're talking about 15 or more years already on this one. Mm -hmm.